Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In today's video, I'm going to explain how we can create time definition in Oracle Axiom. So let's start. What is the time definition? A time definition is either a date or a span of time. Time definition can be static period of unusual length based on a given static data or they can generate date based on dynamic variables. You can define static definition using multiple periods, additional adjustment or both. Uh, the types of time definition you can create is a static time definition, user defined date time definition, time span time definition, retrieval date time definition. First is a static time definition. Create, it creates recurring pattern of dates such as overtime period. For example, a company's overtime period is a standard five-day work week. You can create a static time definition with a weekly frequency that generates time period for three, year, three years. Next is a user-defined date time definition. User-defined date time definition is the to to, def, to the last to define the last standard process and final close date of the element entries for an employee. Uh, the last standard date is the process is the last date on which the element is considered for normal processing in the payroll run, and the final close date is the date from which the element is no longer considered for processing, and thus is no longer date effective. For example, a company provides you housing allowance to its uh, employee and wants the allowance to end 30 days after the employee is terminated. You define a user defined date time definition based on the last standard earning date, which is the termination date plus 30 days. 30 days. So next is a time span time definition. Use time span time definition to create segment of a time that define intervals for scheduled operations such as payroll frequency. You can use these time definition within other time definition. A, for example, a company wants to make employee payment on the last day of the month. The company creates a time definition of time, time span and use it use it when defining the payment method for the pay. The last is the retrieval date time definition. Retrieval date time definition are based on the balance fetch operations. Anything that exists in the database of date format and owned by the payroll application can be used as a trigger. So here, the this MS shows that different types of time definition and how and where you can use them. So the types of time definition, how you use and where you use. First is a static time definition. It, uh, how you can use to create recurring pattern of dates and you can use it under the overtime periods. And next is a user defined date. Define the last standard process and final close date, and you can use it in the element entries. And third one is a time span. Create segment of time uh, that define interval for schedule operations, and you can use it in a payroll periods. And retrieval dates from the payroll database item, you can use it in a rate definition. So let's create the one time definition in the application. On the home page, go to top right of the page, click on the profile name. Then go to the setup and maintenance option. Click on the task area. And then search for the time definition task.
for existing one you select the legislative data group and then you are able to see the already created or existed the existed time definition so these are the already created time definition let's create the one select the static time definition then click on the continue option then select the period basis first period start date and then fill the number of years and select the element allocation and then click on the next oh sorry short name then click on the submit option so this is how you can create the static time definition uh, let's create the another one time span fill the name then select the period type no adjustment and you have to fill the short name and select the time span uses and after that click on the submit option so this is how you can create the time definition in oracle hcm I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching.